Come and see you live from the Jazz Kitchen, and I'm here with Miss Goldie, who just tore down the house. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing fabulous, fabulous. I appreciate the support. Not, I was already anticipating coming to check you out tonight, and I just happened to be walking past the TV with my cup of coffee, and I see a picture of Miss Goldie on Fox 59, and they're, you know, bigging you up, bigging up the concert tonight. Like, how does that feel? It makes me feel good. Sometimes it makes me feel a little nervous. Like, you know, what did my picture look like? Was it, was it a good shot, a bad shot? Because people tend to come to me and tell me that they saw me different places. And it's like, I, that, that's always my fear. What am I looking like? So, yeah, yeah. you know, I've already given you a hard time. Yeah, well, it, I mean, it was definitely a, good, a great look. You know, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm super excited. You know, definitely. Um, you did a great job here tonight. You know, um, what can we expect from Goldie here in 2012? Well, like I said, I have moved to California and um, my main focus is to, to be a full-time pioneer. I, I, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know if you know that, but that, that's my main goal. I want to be able to serve Jehovah. Okay. And in the meanwhile, in order for me to support myself, I sing. So I've met a wonderful guitarist who's been playing since he was six. He's 56 years old. Okay. So we've got a, a regular gig set up when I get back uh, that starts in March. Okay. So um, it pays me what I would normally take four gigs to do here. Wow. I, I'm going to make that in two gigs. Welcome to L.A., baby. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been there, and it was it was absolutely the best experience of my life. You know, definitely. So you, I know you'll find much success definitely there. Uh, what what is your favorite? Because tonight you sung a little bit of um, R and B, um, old school. You even hit us with the country. Like, what type of music do you prefer to sing? Neo soul. I love neo soul because to me, it touches parts of people that um, they may not even want to be touched. But it opens up areas and make people think, you know, gives them, um, I'm hoping, a reason to appreciate someone. Just like India Iree, when I sing her, she's always singing something positive. And I'm always trying to deliver something positive as far as uh, to our ladies. We should respect one another. And um, that, that, that means everything to me is, yeah. is to focus on that, that give us, give one another love. When, when you see your sister, yeah. smile at her. Tell yeah. her, compliment her. That's you know what right. I'm saying? That there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what I encourage and that's what I feel like Neo Soul is all about. It's about a message. Yeah. Yeah. And, and speaking of, you know, ladies and, and being a pioneer or whatnot, like on the way here, I actually found out that the late, great Whitney Houston passed away today. Like, you know, what? Do you have any thoughts on, on that? You know what? When, when Whitney, when I first heard her, it was like, this is amazing and so when I saw that she started you know messing with the drugs or whatever that to me I don't understand when God gives you a gift like the one that Whitney had yes. you can see your voice starting to change deteriorate so she had to see it before it got there right yeah, so I just I didn't understand why she was allowing something to invade something that God had given her and it hurt me yeah. it really hurt me somebody just as I mean she's beautiful man yeah, and so and now to know that she's no longer with us yeah. 
And I'm thinking maybe she just probably couldn't stand it anymore. This is what the stardom does. Yeah, you know what does. I'm saying? It does. And that, that's what I don't want. I yeah. just want to do what I do. I mean, the, the restaurant, music, mm -hmm. while you eating. Right, right. Right. But that stardom, yeah, it, it, it can be too heavy. 